Hello and welcome to my video all about African violets. This is an African violet that grows pink flowers and I have another one back here that grows purple, very dark purple flowers. I read somewhere, probably on the internet, that you can propagate African violets from leaf cuttings. So I followed the directions that I found online. I cut leaves. I cut, uh, I actually cut six leaves, but only three of them survived. And I cut them as close to the base of, this, of the leaf stem as I could. I used a, um, an X-Acto knife or a, a craft knife to slice it very precisely and get it as close as I could. And then, I took a piece of this um, press, and pe uh, press and seal plastic uh, Reynolds wrap and, or whatever it is, the sealing, the press and seal um, plastic to cover your food. Uh, I, I pressed it over the top of a container with water in it and poked holes in it for the stems of the leaves. And this was, this was probably six to eight weeks ago at least. And it took a long time to see any kind of growth at all, any kind of rooting. And the other three, as I said, all kind of just rotted. One of them did have roots, but it also had a lot of rot and was mushy at the end. But these look really good and actually you can see this one has a little baby plant, a little, some little green growth growing off of it. So now what I'm going to do is just transplant these into some pots with soil and see if we can grow some new African violet plants. I'm not sure actually which plant these are from. Just guessing from the leaf color, I'd say these two are from the darker one that has the purple flowers and this one from the pink flower plant but I can't really be sure because their leaf color has changed some since they've been cut from the plant but they all of the leaves still still feel turgid and healthy they're not too floppy or flexible overly flexible so I think we have a pretty good chance they all have some healthy looking roots that are thick and long enough to be transplanted. So let's get started. So here I've got a small uh, garden center pot and I've got a little bit of soil in the bottom of it, just potting soil. It has good holes for drainage as all, pot, uh, all nursery pots do. Um, these are really short so I don't want to put them too far down in the pot but I think I think we're close okay so I want to take this plastic and of course I don't want to just pull them out because I could damage the roots that are underneath so I'm going to cut through the plastic hopefully these scissors are not very good. Uh, cut through the plastic to make a, a way to easily pull these out. So this is the one with the little bit of root of green growth on the root. And that unfortunately is going to be covered up with soil, but I think that the plant will still be okay. So I'm just going to set it down on top of the soil and scoop in soil around the leaf. And I'll push down the soil around the plant so that it's Got a little stability in there. We don't want it to fall over. So 
So you can see that that's less soil than it looked like when it was loose. So once you tamp it down a little bit, press it down, add a little more soil in there and press it down again. And there we have our transplanted African violet plant. I, once again, this is a, this is an experiment for me. I've never done this before, so we will just have to see how it goes, and I may do another video with updates. Um, I'd like to do a video with updates on a lot of the plants I've attempted to propagate, just so that you know which things worked and which things didn't. So that will be coming later. For now, I'm going to pot these other two leaves and set them in, uh, in a place where they get bright light but diffuse light. I don't want them too close to the grow light. I don't want them too close to a bright window, uh, but they do like light. And the more light they get, the more water they need. So that's just a little, a little tip. And here they are, my new little baby African violet plants. I will keep you updated on how they grow, see if we can get some great big African violet plants like these two, and see how many uh, flowers we can get off of these. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe.